Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to solve one numerical problem related to the axial stiffness of the column. So, we are going to solve this problem. The problem states that a column of 10 meter length is easily loaded with a 50 kN load and if the elasticity E, E means elasticity of the material, of the column material is 200,000 newton per square milli, per square meter then find the axial stiffness for this column so the load acting on this column is 50 kilonewton and the length of the column is 10 meter and the cross section of the column is given to us which is 200 millimeter 200 millimeter it means it is a square cross section or square cross section column so to find the axial stiffness First, we have to define the stiffness. The stiffness I can shortly define is the force required to produce a unit displacement or a unit deformation in a body or any object. This property is known as the stiffness of the object or stiffness of a material. So, the force required to produce a unit displacement is known as the stiffness. Now, what is axial stiffness? The axial stiffness is basically for the axial member, axial member I mean the column because column is mostly loaded axially if, if these are the if this is the axis of the column. So column is basically loaded along the axis of the column. You see here the load is applied along the axis of the column. So we call it axial loaded member. While if we consider the beam, for example, this is any beam. So in beam case, the load is applied like in this way, while the axis of the beam is perpendicular. So, in this case, we call it the bending member or a flexural member. So, in case of the beam, we have a bending stiffness or the flexural stiffness. So, axial stiffness is only for the axial loaded member where the load is acting along the axis of the member. And the axial stiffness can be found out by this formula E into A dividing by L. E means elasticity of the material, A means the area of the cross section, L is the length of the member. So, axial stiffness can be found out. E is the elasticity of material which is given to us which is 200,000 Newton per square meter multiplying with the area. Now, area of this column is 200 into 200. So, we got 4 and then if we, this is square millimeter but if we change into square meter so we got some value like in like this value and then we put it here 0 0.04 square meter dividing it by the length of the column the length of the column is 10 meter here 10 meter so what we get from this calculation we get the axial stiffness equal to the 800 newton per square meter sorry it's not the square meter it is only meter because this square meter, this square meter is cancelled, so we got only we are left only with n newton n meter. So it means axial stiffness for this column is 800 newton per meter. It means 800 force is required. Newton force is required to produce a unit deformation of one meter. So 800 force. In Newton is required to produce a unit meter deformation for this column so if you want to produce one meter deformation in this column so how much force is required 50 50 sorry 800 Newton force is required or we can say 0.8 kilonewton force is required to produce a one unit deformation in this column in terms of meter so this was the lecture about the axial stiffness where it depends on three important factors the material on which it is made elasticity of the material the area of the cross section of the column and the length of the column the longer the length the lower will be the axial stiffness because it is inversely proportional while with increase in elasticity and increase of the cross section the axial stiffness will increase because they are directly proportional to axial stiffness so in this way we can find the axial stiffness of the um, column you can also find the axis, the bending stiffness of the beam by another formula bending stiffness is equal to the ei divided by l where here 
we have moment of inertia. I is moment of inertia, E is the elasticity, where L is the length, it is constant, it is the same, but only here we change here the I, which is the second moment of inertia of the beam. But for bending stiffness, I provided a separate video you can go and watch in my channel. So, hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.